Okay. What's going on, world? It's your boy Gemini Brown here, back with another episode of Nalo Kicking Knowledge. Today, we'll be continuing our Chiron series and we'll be discussing Chiron the Sagittarius or the Ninth House. So, let's get into it. What's Chiron? Chiron is known as the Wounded Healer and it represents soul trauma. The soul has been traumatized in a particular area of life and as a result, you know, has a fear regarding that area of life or that per or the expression of this energy. But the thing about Chiron is that by working towards overcoming this fear, going against it, you actually liberate yourself on a greater scale. All right? So, this is a really, really, really interesting house in general. Like, we're discussing it in Sagittarius as well, but then, you know, we got to talk about the ninth house because, you know, for those of you who do know, you know, come to me, you know, for training and stuff like that. Um, you know, I, I do, you know, train people to read charts better and things like that. And one of the things, and becoming a better reader, I tell people, you can't, you can't just try to judge somebody, oh, they have Mars and Gemini in the 10th house and, you know, Venus and Taurus in, in the 9th house. Yeah, okay, but... That's not going to always mean the same thing. Sometimes, you, most times, you have to go a little bit deeper. You have to ask, you have to find out some information. You know, how did you grow up? What did your family believe? Okay, how were you raised? And with how, always with certain houses like that ninth house, okay? Because the ninth house re relates to our beliefs, okay? Philosophical, religious, okay? And things of that nature. And the ninth house also relates to higher learning. So there's so many things that can occur when you see Chiron in the ninth house. The wound will never be as simple as, oh, you're you're afraid of religion? Nah, you know, it could be many, many different things. So let, let's, let's look at that, all right? So in one regard, right, this is the house of, you know, philosophy, you know, our religion, and, you know, the things is overall that we believe. And in one instance, you know, a person can definitely reject, reject what their family believes in, you know, or never identify with their culture. You know, it could be somebody who's like um, Irish, someone who's Irish and Catholic, you know, and they're just like, yo, like, I care nothing about the history of the Irish. No, I don't want to go to Notre Dame. Um, I don't want to do my communion, right? You just don't, your identity isn't wrapped up in that of your, your families, okay? Or the cultural influence, right? Where you grow up at, okay? So that's, that's one way that could play out. And the way to heal, if this is you, the way to heal that Chiron is a very, very simple, is I, it is pretty simple, you know, but nothing is as simple as it seems. But one way to heal that is to simply choose what you want to stand for, okay? What you believe in is going to have an effect on the way you structure your life. That's, that's the truth about it. So, you know, a lot of times, especially if it's in like in a familial sense and it's like, you know, your family wants you to be, you know, be like them and, and believe what they believe is because they they think that you know by going going outside of, of those beliefs you you know you might mess up your life become a failure and things like that so in order to heal this you just kind of gotta really stand firm in what you believe and show the validity of why you believe what you believe and basically you know how that helps your life and then secondly you always want to be respectful of other people's beliefs. So if you're going to now, mind you, this for those with um, Chiron and Sag, uh, this how Chiron and Sag could definitely play out a little bit more depending on the house. Is that you know, say this is happening in your third house, your eleventh house, you can be a part. You can have a group of friends or be a part of an organization that you know y'all morals don't match up. They may you know have you know a certain agenda. You know, to do certain things and, you you know, you don't believe that. It's essential to 
stand firm in your belief, okay? <laughs> I've seen this play out a couple of times, you know? Um, <laughs> so, overall, like I said, you want to stand firm in what you believe and show the validity of why you believe what you believe. And for, you know, a lot of us, Saturn just came out of Sagittarius and that was about, you know, defining your truth and why you believe it, okay? So, then, you know, um, like I said, Sagittarius is the house of, or the sign of higher learning, right? I always like to think of, like, the third house is like your elementary education, and I like to think of, like, the fifth house is like your teenage years, so high school, and then the ninth house is like college, right? And one of the things some people do, they travel for college, okay? So, one of these wounds connected to Chiron can stem from, check this out, right? It can go one of two ways. You you can feel as though you know you were never you were never supported in your academic endeavors like you weren't so, so say you come from a family of philosophy you know they believe some, that you know college is pointless like no one in our family has been to college it's too expensive and you know they expect you to grow up and, and you know kind of do the same so within all of these there may be somebody who conforms to this but then the person who really works to heal this wound, um, they become very determined, okay? So in one sense, you can have somebody who just, their, their family or more specifically their father, because Sagittarius is the teachings of your father. Your father just never, your father or your family never gave you the correct structure, right? Or, or aspirations, nothing to aspire to, okay? And as a result, if you're the conformist, you're just like, I, after high school, I'm going to go get a job and, you know, yada, yada, yada. But a more determined person is this girl. I don't remember her name, but she wrote a book. She wrote a book about putting herself through college strictly based on scholarships. You know, you need that kind of determination. Like, no, I'm going to succeed at all costs because, you know, this is what I truly desire. Right? So that's how you know you heal that wound. Then if we're keeping it in the same sense, right? A person may feel like if you, you know, matching up, if you don't have the particular same philosophy or beliefs as your family or you just want your moral structures a little bit different, one way you may need to fully separate from your family. And one way to do that is by traveling, okay? Relocating. Um, one of the wounds connected to this position is that of a person, now mind you, you got to open your scope, they can think of a person in a third world country, okay, who prays every day like, yo, I want to get out of here. I wish there was an opportunity where I can get to go to another land or another country, right? So, there's, there's a person who... For whatever reason, financially or, you know, conforming to how family is, they may be born in a place, grow up in a place, and live their life in the same place. And even if they're semi or whatever successful, the wound, which is your soul, your soul is always going to say to you, like, but I'm not fulfilled. Like, everything is everything, but I'm not fulfilled. And, and why? It's because you never expanded. So, whatever this Chiron in Sagittarius is, right? You're going to need to, ex to, to heal that wound. You're going to need to expand on that. So, if it's the third house, you need to expand on your intellectual capability. You need to inject what you believe into everything that you, um, you, know, you undertake. Right? Whatever you learn, whatever if you're gonna publish something, it should reflect your beliefs. Okay? If um if it's the second house, your ability to generate wealth, okay? So is expansion is the key and, and that really um heals it. Because the key thing here is the freedom. The freedom. So ultimately, if we can condense what we're saying, the wound is connected to Having our freedom restricted, okay, whether by being told what to believe, feeling like we can't 
move out of where we're we're at or that you know we just we were never raised or you know encouraged to expand and become better so a large portion of this like I said is just about um, exercising your own free will and, and that and the freedom that comes with that okay this can like I said this can go in many different ways it even extends to the point if you know for a person who's been raised in a particular culture right you can be that person raised in a culture you like your culture you love being whatever you are but when it comes to the opposite sex or whoever you're attracted to it's just different it could be I'm just attracted to somebody from people from different cultures or the same sex right so and then as a so it's gonna take you know your your free will is gonna take your real ability to be free to choose like this is how I'm gonna live my life you understand so I really hope this this helps y'all um, because Chiron in the ninth is is it's more so, I would say, more times than not, you know, or in Sagittarius, it kind of really, like I said, you have one or two choices. You conform or you go completely against the grain and you be that rebel and you're just like, nah, like, this isn't for me. And that, and ultimately, you'll find it's okay. So, for, like I said, whatever you're going to do, however you're going to live your life, you just have to, it, you just have to show the validity, like, it's good for me to live my life. You know, if I can just make a joke, like, you know, if you want to go smoke crack or sniff coke, you better show that this shit is not hindering you. Okay? Like, however you want to live your life, you just have to show that greater philosophy behind it. All right? So, yeah, y'all. This is my interpretation of Chiron in the ninth house or Sagittarius. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, feel free to do so. If you need a reading... Feel free to holler at me. If you got a Chiron story is with this house, I definitely want to hear it. Until next time, peace.